Hello everybody, you can call me Hunch, and today I'm going to go on another decentralization tirade. And uh, you can either listen or not, but I'm going to be talking about XRP and Ripple. Now, I kind of despise Ripple because I think it's the antithesis, antithesis of crypto, right? I believe in decentralization. I believe that no one central figure should define morality, sort of uh, what governments and, and central uh, centralized governments and systems kind of do. And uh, I'm going to give you an example of why I think that. And, you know, it may not apply to every case, but I think in general uh, it applies. So let's dive on in. Okay, if you don't know Brad Garlinghouse, he is uh, the centralized figure of Ripple XRP. Okay, right? And if anything that we've realized over the last couple of weeks is that having a centralized figure like Vitalik or like uh, a coder uh, for a DeFi project makes is a component of decentralization uh recently if you haven't realized a lot of big time developers have walked away from projects and have basically shut them down right and they're no longer in business or they're no longer operating right that that's not decentralization that's kind of like a rug pull right they're so they're business like they're open source businesses right decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs they call them there's nothing decentralized about them if they shut down as soon as the leader walks away right but this guy chimes in about what's going on with russia okay so um you can read this but it's basically saying that uh, he's addressing the critics of crypto who are saying russia is going to use crypto to avoid sanctions right here he, here is his response to that in general he goes in order to convert crypto to fiat exchanges rely on banking partners who could lose their license if someone of the ofac list is able to slip through extremely stingent kyc ml policies Okay, so that's the centralized bank, okay, right? They're looking for money laundering. They're looking to follow the guidelines of sanctions, right? Um, and here we go further. Ripple.net or RippleNet, for example, has always been and remains today committed to not working with sanctioned banks or countries that are restricted counterparties. Ripple and our customers and our customers support and enforce OFAC laws and KYC AML, right? So... <laughs> this is the antithesis of cryptocurrency i just want to say right because in this situation uh you're just you're you're relying on the centralized um entity right the government to make a decision on morality cutting off the russian people from uh swift or cutting off or, or visa and mastercard and uh, uh the other one they're they're all shutting down business in Russia, right? And I say that because the Russian people actually did nothing, right? It's it's the Russian government, right? So it's one government making uh, invading, which is a, a bad moral call, I would say, and then another uh, government or centralized entities choosing uh, what they think to be morality and cutting off the mass population of uh, Russians off of financial networks, right? Now, uh, why is why is this so pertinent? It's because Bitcoin is on the other side of that trade, right? They're the people are deciding what's moral, right? Not the government, right? Ukraine has raised more than fifty four million as Bitcoin donations pour in support of the war against Russia, right? Bitcoin didn't cut the Russians off of of uh, normal Russian citizens off the financial networks. Centralized entities did, governments and businesses, right? And they also chose to donate to the cause, right? They're not donating to the Russian army. There might be some crazy lunatics donating to the Russian army, but I'm sure it's much less than this, okay? This in that direction. Now, this, this is why I say crypto is very more philosophically nuanced than it is technically, right? In this scenario, Russia invading Ukraine, there's a whole lot of parties involved, right? There's the Ukrainians, the, the Ukrainian army, the Ukrainian citizens, the Russian army, the Russian citizens. In this situation, out of those four players, right? Ukrainian army, Ukrainian citizens, Russian army, Russian citizens. Only one, there's only one bad actor, right? Russian government. And yet, the centralized entities choose the morality, right? Uh, ostracizing an entire nation, Russians, 
uh, because they're associated or under the law of the Russian government. Now, if you can't see the problem with this, I don't know how to get through to you, right? Bitcoiners and, and, and Ethereum people and some other people have chosen what is more morally just here, right? They did not need the government to cut everybody off, all the Russian citizens from centralized banking, right? And they also donated to the people being attacked, right? And in this situation, the, the method that Brad Garlinghouse of XRP uh, suggests is the way to go is the centralized figure should choose morality, right? And I, I just want to go a little further, right? And, and this is someone who obviously supports Ukraine because of the Ukrainian flag. I just want to explain it a little bit more because it's it's going to make my point even more pertinent, right? It says, so the Bitcoin marketing angle is wealth mastery through permaholding, an asset designed to dodge sanctions and destabilize society, all while trying to stay spam parent about the later as possible. Sounds like Juicio of finance. Okay, I don't even know what that means, Juicero of finance. But it, this person is anti-Bitcoin, right? And someone made a response from Marty Ben. And, and even if this is fake, this is the way I truly feel, right? The world is watching trust get... Res repriced in real time when the dust settles bitcoin will be the biggest benefactor because the masses will realize a distributed system that cannot be controlled by a single person government or corporation or coalition is the only thing that can they can trust now think about this think about this deeply what does this remind you of right it reminds you of all the chaos the lack of trust in our institutions the lack in trust of our of our neighbors nobody can believe anything they hear anymore right and so what do people say they say in god we trust right and and whether you're religious or not i'm not saying uh, this is about religion but what in god we trust what that means is we don't have any idea who to trust right when everyone's turned your back on you there's one person we can trust right and that's god right and it's on the united states dollar right it if you can't trust anything, you have to trust the distributed system with no bias and it will always give you the truth, right? This transaction happened. The people decided what is moral, right? They sent Bitcoin there. That is trust. XRP is not trust. It's centralized garbage and it's the same system we have. I am begging you, please try to understand this because society in a way kind of depends on it you can call me hunch